Hi, my name is Demi Olatin Rola Zegi. Hello, my name is Omma Licha and I work for Rhythm Life 7 as a radio presenter. And I'm an on-air personality, radio and television. There's one thing that I can't do without. It's dodo. And one thing people don't know about me is that I'm very shy. I can't go a day without dodo. This I say this with all shame. I'm very, very shy, seriously. I accept it. I'm um, not well. And it's on. It's on. Welcome to On, the show where two people come to find a common ground. I'm here with Omalicha and we're here to discuss the rise of the celebrity OAP. I see you rolling your eyes already. On Epis, I know what I call that Air Force One. <laughs> we fly at night. <laughs> okay, so Look. what is an on air personality? A person who is on air and a personality. You don't mean it. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, how would you describe that phrase? Another personality is somebody who is hired for their persona, their mannerisms, the way they speak, the way they behave, whether it's on a radio platform, internet platform, or a television platform. So oh. you're not just there because you have a nice voice and you look nice. You're most there time, because you have some sort of personality. Gift. Well, most times when I hear that, I always think radio first mm -hmm. and television. Mm -hmm. Before anything, I, 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 you just mentioned online, you know. So now I'm like, oh, right, mm. okay. But why can't we just say broadcasters? Well, because it's a broad, okay, like a stiff newscaster. Now, is that person an honor personality? I don't Apparently, think so. Well, it's all in the same market. You sit stiffly field. and you read the teleprompter and tell us what the president is doing, Yon. <laughs> Are you an honor personality? <laughs> oh, <laughs> What's the personality? Well, okay, because of the per Well, your personality is that you're stiff. How about that? Hi, I'm All right, cool. For my city. I'm here with the news. See? That's okay. the personality. Okay. So they say the rise of Kenny. The celebrity on air press uh, OAP or on air personality. So you're a celebrity, I'm not. So you're a celebrity. I had just exempted how did myself you, how did from you come, this. How did you come to that conclusion? Uh uh. Bay me all that day. Uh uh. When you are pop, you look at you. Mm -hmm. If they're not talking about your age, I'm just tired of that one, by the way. Maybe just tell them that how old are you really? <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about that. Why? But I just I just think people are ridiculous. I, I recently like turned lot. 30. My parents were at my dinner. Do you think my parents are going to lie with me about my age? Have you met my father? <laughs> anyway, that's not what we're talking about. So, honor personality. What does it take to become an honor personality? How did you get into the game? Okay, first of all, personality one, and then the ability to communicate with simple English. We need to, you know, say that enough. It's radio. Everybody listens to radio. You mm -hmm. know, communicate with the communication is so that everyone else, everyone can understand what you're saying. Use simple terms. Mm -hmm. So I, I got in there with uh, personality one. But then the ability to communicate and then the fact that according to well my boss says nobody is normal in his so he hired you because you're crazy but well, blessed was well, talented very talented do you think you are normal <laughs> <laughs> i love your responses on twitter oh to who to what how to entities <laughs> I like how you mentioned that there are entities. Ex okay, see. That occupy blind okay. space. For me, as I think the, the person you meet, or the person you listen to on the radio, is pretty much the same person you meet in person. So I'm very, very sarcastic. And if you come at me, give me one, I give you ten. So that's kind of how I am. And so people, when people are like, ah, give me, you're kind of harsh. I'm like, it's not harsh, it's just... If you think you can yip yap at me and think I'm not going to respond, respond. now I don't, I don't respond to everybody. I was but once say, yeah, in a do you while, you necessarily have to respond some, to No, no. Once well, sometimes you just ignore some people because at the end of the day, a lot of these people are waiting results at home and because data is cheap, they ah, just talk ah, all sorts of pause. nonsense on the radio or on, on, on Twitter. <laughs> we have to say this is slow motion. No, seriously. They are kidding. What? Car. It's all these awaiting results, jobless ah. people who have work to do. Ads, ah, destiny destroyers. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, okay, really. Okay, hold that thought. Hold <laughs> that thought. It's time for a quick break. You've been watching on. We'll be right back. Welcome back. It's still on, and this is a place where two people come together to find a common ground. Introducing the babe herself, <laughs> Remy. 
So I was asking. Yes. You said um, radio presenters um, bring out their real personalities when they're on radio. Is that true? Because a lot of people said that, you know, some of us, you know, pretend and then there's funny involved. See. Mm -hmm. I see it as you should be yourself and you should speak clearly as an on-air personality. There are a few things you should know. You should speak clearly as an honor personality. Okay. Sometimes you can't help it if you have an accent. Maybe for those people who have lived, lived abroad. abroad all their okay. lives lived yeah. and things like that. And people in Nigeria, for some reason, think you have to have some sort of foreign accent to get into radio or TV, which I think is false. I don't think you need an accent. So, and it's so easy to spot a fake accent. Especially the American one, they keep adding R to every word. Yeah. Yeah, how you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Why? I like your hair. Ah, thank you. <laughs> You know, stuff like that is you sound ridiculous. I think yeah, you're not sure of yourself. Mm -hmm. That's one. Two, I think that you need to be knowledgeable about almost everything. You can't know everything, mm -hmm. but be so curious that you are just... You learn about Yeah, you learn about you different things. Uh -huh. And especially if you're going to work at a place where they focus on entertainment or on sports mm -hmm. or on politics, just you should knowledge. be yeah. like a walking and, you know, encyclopedia on that topic. You need to know the latest. And then you can't be a radio on-air personality at a music playing station if you do not at least enjoy music, music you know you one, should yeah. you might not like every single song that they're going to play on that station but at least be knowledgeable and know music know the artists know the songs, type of you know, music things genre, like that yeah. who produced it this and that it sounds it was sampled by it so and so and if you don't know the internet is there research i mean <laughs> yes come you know. to that professionalism what about professionalism every uh, okay let me slow down my thoughts <laughs> and then speak. Now, a lot of young people want to be broadcasters because they have an idea of what it is, if you know what I mean. Now, <clears throat> on the surface, it seems like the dream job. You are playing fabulous music. music. You are hanging yourself. out with... You're hanging out with celebrities. Mm -hmm. You wear what you want Once, uh -huh. to work in your pajamas. If and people you, talk and about you, your presence. Uh -huh. Wait now, wait now. And you get you know to go to all these events. events and uh -huh. But people don't realize that it's a lot of work. work. Mm -hmm. Apart from all the flash and all that, there's still a lot of work to, to do. Done. So you can go and turn up at Quillox all day long and then your show is in an hour and you're not prepared for your show. It shows. I just wanted you to, you know, because you're not the broadcaster, because some people think I'm crazy when I say, look, honey, if you want to learn the business, it, you, you, don't, you can't just wake up, have a very big, forgive my French, breast. It's not actually not French, it's, it's a part of your body. And then, you know, you have a tiny waist, and then you, you know, you look like Kim Kardashian. Are you subbing anyone? Me? How can I? Who am I? <laughs> I mean, okay, now, I, I started radio when blogs were not around there was no instagram there was no, no social media there was no fact. social it media as and active as it is now. i was still quite popular and that's because of, of my work. work ethic unfortunately the internet has its um uh disadvantage yes it has helped a lot of us um you know with you know, now you are you can go on my instagram page and see what i look like because or you, yeah. can, you can go on youtube and see uh -huh. videos i've recorded and things like that but here is what has happened some people have infiltrated our industry. They have come in there and they've made it all about looks and perception, per se. And so people are like, oh, okay. So now, I don't know how to explain it. I wonder what this term, how do you think people understand, what do you think people understand by the term OAP celebrity? Does, what's the first thing that comes to their minds when they, we will go on a break. When we come back, Bimi must answer that question. Why? What is I, that? I love her mouth. That's wrong. I didn't come out I right. I love her expression. <laughs> I love the way she thinks. Jesus! I'm so wrong! <laughs> we'll be back. It is hot. Hi! Welcome back to On. So, Bimi, the question I asked you earlier. Mm -hmm. You have an answer for me. Celebrity OAPs. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't like that name because I don't necessarily consider myself a celebrity, but I do think that nowadays that celebrities, I mean, on-air personalities are getting endorsement deals 
and yeah. uh, branching out into other yeah. things, uh, acting, uh, music, mm -hmm. clothing lines, hair lines, mm -hmm. things like that. So, um, I mean, you have people like Bonang from South Africa who has her lingerie line. She She's the face of what, what's, I think, a cosmetic brand. Yeah. You have people in Nigeria who are also doing things like that. So, in a way, yes, there are, I mean, there are celebrity OAPs as well. Okay, that's interesting. So I have questions for you, Billy. Okay, and I have <coughs> questions for you. I'll ask you one. Okay. And then you ask me one. All right. Be nice. <laughs> I'm nice. So please shut down some of the rumors about you. What rumors? Well, that Adrian already asked you, Shah. So what? So else? are you gonna say the the, num the number? What? How I'm old thirty you? years old. So July really 18, 1984. Like, how is it? I went to Queen's College. The girls I went to school with are turning 30. So really, why would I lie? Did I went to a big school like you see, where we're 800 girls. Are you serious? It's possible that some of the girls don't, didn't really like you in school and then so they had to come up, you know, cook up some kind of rumor. I'm just, just please I don't. think that people find it difficult to, to as, a, as, a popular, as a popular blogger said to me, because I was like, leave me now. And she was like, no, that's not me. That what people find it difficult because I've been in the industry for 10 years. And because started I started, now. yeah, I started at age 20. On, at age 20, 21, I was on air with Dan Foster in the morning. So people think, ah, uh, you know, uh, with me. And then because they say the way I behave, that I act like I'm so mature. I'm like, have you seen me How? with my friends? <laughs> but okay. Oh my God. I'll take it. No problem. So did you date any popular um, artists in this country? No. At all? Mm -mm. Who are you dating right now? I'm just, it's, it's a question. Person. A human being, male or female? No, alien. <laughs> <laughs> alien, of course, it's a human being. Can I, can I know his name? Hex, no. How do I get information from this girl now? Can I ask my question now? Okay. How did you turn out this way? <laughs> the fans, it wasn't me. The fans want to know. How I turned out this way? Yeah. My mama, I'll tell you the full story, yeah. Mm -hmm. My mama, so mm -hmm. my papa said, oh, a nice young mom. Let's get married. They go married. Then one night, they had a nice time. Oh, God. I can tell you what they were drinking before the do the do you know, happened. And then? Dodo was involved, sir. <laughs> That's how. Next okay. question. I, I like See, I'm an open book. <laughs> now, I have a question. Would you ever consider singing? Yes, I do it all the time. Yes, I'm singing professionally. Professionally, I do it all the time. Where? In my bathroom. That's not professional. That's professional. That's not professional. Someone is watching me. Who? Me. <laughs> I mean, like, if, if you hook up with a good producer and you produce a single, would you, would you do that? It's very possible, though. Okay. Very, very, very. I can't say no. Let me not say no before they quote me. Come on, sing something. <coughs> Come on. Something. From Sound of Music. <laughs> ah. Uh, you didn't watch Sound How of Music. How do you solve a problem like Maria? Da -da -da -da. How do you catch a cloud up in the dark? Da -da -da -da. How do you find the word that means Maria? Enough. Enough. Thank you. Yeah. Enough. Mary, I think you know you like you started it. I said it. No. Rich. Now that you messed up the whole place, it's time for us to get out of here. It was my voice, not me. Terrible. <laughs> It's terrible. <laughs> so we're saying goodbye. It's been fun hanging out with you guys. We had a lot of fun. She went crazy. Please get her a mop. Uh, stay tuned to more episodes of On. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Are you like this? Goodbye. <laughs>